Hey guys, it's Sarah from Just My Typewriter, and happy Christmas in July. One thing that Christmas in July really lacks compared to the traditional Christmas, at least here in the boonies of PA, is snow. So to make up for it, we're going to test out some whiteout options for you to use on your typewriter collection. Whiteout, or correction tape, is a white substance you can put over top of mistakes you make on your typewriter so you can go back over something and retype your correction to avoid having to start your page all over again. Personally, when I mess up, and I mess up often, I opt for the type over method. This is where you go back over your mistake and type over it in X's. Does everyone know you've messed up? Yes, but it tends to look pretty cool in a line of text. I've also used this method to create blackout poetry on a typewriter, which you can check out in my Typing on Things book pages video listed below. In order to test out these whiteout options, I started typing out an array of Christmas-based text on two of my machines, my Underwood Golden Touch Deluxe Marigold and my Olympia SM7 Iris. I started with Marigold and then remembered every time you type the letter C, the type slug gets stuck. Don't worry, I'll fix it, but it can be kind of hard to type Christmas without a C. The players. I wanted to have an array of options for corrections to test out consistency, dry time, and the ability to type over. I started with this Bic Whiteout Correction Tape. Correction tape is a traditional whiteout made of a rollable form so you can roll right over your mistake and it covers it up with this thick white layer to cover up any mistakes you might have made. And then I made another mistake. I couldn't get the roll to start right away and it wasn't rolling out like traditional scrapbook tape that I'm used to in this kind of shape and delivery method. You have to roll this tape sideways over your text, so I pulled the clear tape in the dispenser and immediately destroyed the entire roll. I couldn't get it to roll back up in the dispenser, and I couldn't break it open despite trying. When I did manage to get white out to slide off from the tape, the coverage was very opaque and it stuck down to the paper immediately. Let's try another correction tape and not mess up this time. Same concept as the Bic tape, but this one is the Tom Bow Mono brand. I didn't screw up the dispenser on this one, but I did find a few times I had to pat down the start of my correction tape because it didn't stick right away. And this could lead to some wrinkling in the correction. On to some legit whiteout. This is the traditional bottled whiteout. Slightly messy, who let me buy this? In its true liquid form, whiteout can be applied to a mistake with a small brush. I found this to be incredibly intimidating and was terrified of spilling it everywhere. And I struggled to apply my whiteout to a specific text. If I had rows and rows and rows of text, I could see myself accidentally covering up more than I intended. I also didn't find it to be as opaque as the tape, but we'll check that out in the opacity test in a second. On to the next one, which is a Bic Whiteout pen. I'm not sure what I was expecting here. This has a reservoir of whiteout that comes out through a traditional ballpoint style pen tip. This tip is very fine, which makes it very difficult to cover up a large section consistently. It also comes out very thick, which adds to the drying time. I could see this being really helpful in an accidentally adding an extra comma scenario because it would be very fine detail, but for crossing out entire words, it's a little too cumbersome. And finally, I wanted to try using this We Are Memory Keepers typecast ribbon as whiteout. This was suggested in my ribbon review. This ribbon has two colors, black and white. It was suggested that maybe it would work as correction tape if I went back over my mistake and typed out exactly the same letters in white. So I put the ribbon in my Olympia and gave it a shot. Newsflash, this is not actually white ribbon. Apparently, it's silver. So my dreams of typing over were dashed. I typed in black first and then typed over exactly the same thing in silver, and then I attempted in silver alone. Honestly, it's not a bad color, but definitely not correction tape. Back to our whiteout contenders. I was interested in how different the colors or tones of white would appear next to each other and how difficult it would be to type over them once applied. So I did some science. And by science, I mean I put them all in a row and typed over them. I tried this on white paper first, but it's difficult to tell opacity and tone over literal white paper, so I brought in the big guns, brown cardstock. I started with my broken Bic correction tape. It was difficult to apply, but that's definitely because I broke it. User error, I swear. On to the Tombow, which in this case you can see is actually pulling up at the start of the line, then white out, and finally the pen. The whiteout dried down faster, but you can see the brush strokes in it pretty clearly over this colored surface. And I had to layer it on to block out the brown of the paper. The Bic pen was the brightest color, but again, the pen tip is rather limiting in its range and felt like I really had to scratch into the paper to get consistent flow. Did I mention it takes much longer to dry? I got it everywhere. And then I crafted because I was unsupervised. 
Finally, I typed over each one. When there aren't any lines around your text to give you direction, it can be hard to know exactly which line to click into. But this is what whiteout looks like when typed over. I had an issue with getting the correction tape to be straight, and there was a weird amount of cracking in the Tombow tape compared to the Bic. And the pen section was just too thin because I'm easily bored and didn't give myself enough space to type over. From these options, I actually think the Bic tape was the best option in all categories, and if I hadn't freaking broken it, it would've been awesome. But when all else fails, nothing looks the same as a type over. For more Christmas in July content, check out the other typewriter videos on this YouTube channel. We also have Christmas themed cards available in my Redbubble store, so you can share some seasonal typewriter tidings. Link in description. We also have an Instagram where you can see more of my collection and typewriter adventures at just.my.typewriter. I want to thank you so much for watching and remind you, you're just my type. Writer.